This is the starting line of one inch. So we'll be drafting the half cuts first. You know, peplum blouses. We have the half cuts then before the peplum. So I'll be using this this length for the peplum. Now my half length is 20 inches. My breast point is 12.5. Breast point is 12.5. The under bust I'll be using for this tutorial is 16.5. Then this is my half length plus the sewing allowance. So I'm going to be using 8.5 for my chest line. So this is the 8.5. So I'll repeat the same measurements here. Guys, the next thing is to take your shoulder. Now my shoulder is 16 inches, 16 divided by two. I have eight, eight inches. So I'm going to put the, the 8 inches here. You also repeat the 8 inches on your chest line. So you connect your lines together. I'll be using 1.5 inch for my front shoulder slant. But I'll use 1 inch for the back. Width of the neck is 3 inches. Then the depth is 3.5. I can decide to change this depth later. Okay, let's say I'm using 3.5 by 3.5 instead of 3 inches. So this is it here. I'll be connecting the neck, the width and the depth together this way. So let's take it down to this. So this is our slope. Okay, so mates, I'm just going to mark 1 inch here. The reason for this 1 inch is because I will use 1 inch for the back. So we need to get the same armhole so i'm going to measure from this one inch to this place whatever i have left i'll divide it by two so i have 7.5 my across chest measurement is 15 inches and i have 16 inches here i'll just go in here by 0 0.5 instead of one one will be too much so i'll just go in here by 0 0.5 inch so guys now my round bust measurement is 43.5 for 3.5 divided by 4, we have 10.85. So I'm going to put the 10.85 this way. So, so me, this is it. Now let's connect our handhold together. So you connect from this 0 0.75. You connect it up here like so. Then you also connect from here to your... to your round boss now we have our ham hole ready so i'm going to be putting nipple to nipple measurement and my nipple to nipple measurement is nine inches that is 4.5 i'm going to add half inch to it making 10 so i'm going to start from the breast point to the waist to the waistline now the half inch i added is for sewing allowance so you connect your lines like this I'll be using one inch on both sides. So I'll use one inch on both sides. One inch here, one inch here. Now on the breast points here, I'm going to come down here by, by one inch. Can you see what I'm doing? So you connect it this way. Now, so let's put our measurements now. So I already have the bust measurement here. So let me still repeat the bust measurement on this part here. So for my under bust, my under bust is 34 inches. 34 divided by 4, we have 8.5. So I'm going to put it here. Then I'll be using 36 inches for my waist. Now, 36 divided by 4, we have 9 inches. So, guys, then I'm going to I'm going to put back these 2 inches. This one, 1 inch on this side. I'm going to put it back like this. So, I will not be using this for now, but I will use it later. So, let me connect. Let me connect it together to the breast point, to the round to the round bust so this is my measurement now now let's do what we call the under bust tightening so i want to tighten the the under bust now now my under bust is 34 inches so 34 divided by 4 we have 8.5 so i'm going to 
get what I have here, whatever I have left here. Here I have 4.5. So I'm going to put the 4.5 on the second dart leg here. This is the first dart leg from here to here is 4.5 what what i have left here so i'm going to put the 4.5 like this this is how you put it you're going to put it this way and you measure and you get your 8.5 so after putting it this way like this now this is the 8.5 so you are going to mark the 8.5 this way do you understand what i did here I need to get 8.5 here on this point here. So I have 4.5 here. So you continue from your second dart leg to get the 8.5. So you're going to take your tape like this. You're going to minus the 8.5, the 4.5 like this. So you get your 8.5. Now this is my 8.5 on this line here. So you now measure whatever you have left here. I have 1.5 left. So the 1.5, I'll take the smaller part here and the bigger part here. So this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put the half inch this way. Then I'm going to put the one inch this way. Can you see? So I'll be connecting this two now to this, to this dart leg here, each dart leg here. So watch how I connect. So from this one inch here, I'm going to connect to this that leg. So from this one, also I'll connect to this to this that leg. Now I'll be connecting both now to to this one inch. You know we came down here one inch. So I'm going to use my curve ruler now. So you connect like this. Then you connect the the other side also. Now if you're connecting this other side, just avoid too much curve do not curve it the way you curve this one just try and avoid plenty curve on this part here so can you see what i did now we are done with what we call the under bust under bust tightening so the next thing we want to do guys is to now put our bust because we are getting the bust that now and the difference between my front waist length and my back waist length is 2.5 most people the difference is two inches why some people the difference is one inch 1.5 so you have to measure the difference between your front waist length and the back waist length on my last tutorial on how to get um accurate body measurement i did that there so you can watch that video if you want to know how to get your accurate body measurement mine is 2.5 now from this breast point here this breast point line i'm going to go down by 2.5 so this is the 2.5 so i'll connect it to this to this dart here so guys i've connected it to this dart here now now the next thing i will do is um i'll come to my shoulder here and whatever i have left from my neck width here to the shoulder point here i'm going to divide it by two so i have 4.75 here so i'll divide it by two so i'll mark it like this now i'm going to connect it from here to this to this um, breast point add sewing allowance of 2.5 inches all round this way then i'm going to connect the the boss that down there so the next thing I want to do is I want to close this boss that I in order for me to close this boss that here I'm going to open this place I'm going to be opening here so watch how I open and just flash here okay so after slashing after opening here I'm going to close here so you're just going to take this this place like this you know when you are when you are closing here is opening already after closing i'm just going to be using my tape to hold it down so guys now that here is closed and here is being opened we are going to calculate whatever we have from here to here so you take your tape 
I have 4.75. This is what I have. I have 4.75. Now, this 4.75, I'll divide it. I'll divide it into four. So you place your tape like this on the 4.75. You fold it into two. Now, after folding it into two, you open it again. You fold it again. This way, you divide it into four. You fold it again. So what I have here is 1.25. So the 1.25... You're going to place it on this part here and you you're going to mark it this way you're going to mark the 1.25 here so this 1.25 you're going to rule a line to this place so this is how you connect it so you connect it to your breast point so can you see what i did now i connected it to the breast point so after this now i'm going to be closing it back and in order for me to close it back guys you have to open this your boss that here so i hope you understand so so mates after opening this back this is it in order for me to close here back to close here back you can either open this crease line here you already have this crease line here you can either use your scissors to open it or you open this dart here this center dart here you open it like this let me open this center one here my previous video i opened here but let's open let's open here so you're going to slash you're going to take from this your nipple to nipple measurement this center here you up you slash the center cut it to the breast to the breast point this way and you stop now don't cut through so when you when you open it like this you can now close this one do you understand now we are also you know when i when i slash it when i slash it i didn't cut it through i left very small here because to this breast point here i slash it to this part part here because because i want to close this that we took here so now i'm going to raise this one up this way and i'll be closing it like this i'll be closing this dart here so when you close this dart like this you can now use your tape to secure it down you need to replace that 1.25 you have to replace it back here and you need to blend this you can see that this broke it's already a broken line here this line is broken here because of when we close here it is no longer the same so you just place it this way and you blend it and you blend it back to the 1.5 inch you're, you're going to blend your line back your shoulder line here you have to blend it back and when you are blending it back extend the line like this extend the line like this because you'll be replacing your 1.25 back here the 1.25 be closed here you'll be adding it back so when you add it back so blend it back to your to your ham hole we need to replace this shoulder because if you do not replace it if you are drafting your back it's not be the same now for this tutorial i'm using a sweetheart a sweetheart neck for this tutorial so how do you get your sweetheart neck if you want if you want to use you can decide to use from here to here you can use four inches you can use five inches so let's say i am using 4.5 so if i'm to use 4.5 you're going to mark the 4.5 indicate it this way from the shoulder here from the starting line here i want to use 8.5 as my neck depth you can use nine inches you can use 10 it depends on how you want your cleavage to show so if i'm to use um let me use nine inches i want it deep so you're going to take your curve rule and you connect it to the 4.5 you came down here do you understand guys so you're going to connect like this so you'll be connecting like this this is your yoke. So this is the front yoke. So I'm just going to be writing it like this. Front yoke. After getting your 
your yoke for the front. You can cover. You can cover back your darts, your boss darts. You can cover it back. So I'm going to be adding half inch here, like this. I'll add half inch up here, like this. So. I want to cut now. This is the 2.5 I added to the bread, to the round bust measurement. This is the 2.5 I added to the waist. Now, because I closed the dart, automatically we have shortage here. So you just place it this way and blend it back. Now, if your paper is not enough from here, you can add another paper so you can blend it up. So this is what I'm going to be doing. So you're going to take your yoke this way and you'll be cutting it off like this. Okay, so we've cut off the yolk, the yolk now. The next thing is to cut, is to remove all the darts. So you're going to take this one. And you're going to cut it off this way, like this. This one like this. So we're going to be cutting this second one here too. You're going to remove this dart also. So you follow your curve. So you're going to curve it properly. So can you see our pattern? Now we are done with the front. The next thing I'll be drafting is the back. So I'm going to set this aside. Let's draft the back. Now this is our pattern paper also for the back. So guys, I told you the difference between the back and the front is 2.5. So I already have here, I already have um 17.5 plus half inch sewing allowance. So I have 18, 18 inches here. Now let's start. The first thing is to mark your one inch for zip allowance because I'll be using zip for this tutorial. So you're going to mark your zip allowance all the way down. So let's impute our neck width and our neck depth. So I use 3.5 for the neck width for the front. Then I use 8 inches for the shoulder. So I'm going to be using the back. I'm going to be using 1.5 for the back neck depth. So let's connect it this way. So for the shoulder slope, for the back, I'm going to be using one inch. I use 1.5 for the front shoulder slope, but for the back, I am using one inch for the back. Now, after sh the shoulder slope, I'm going to use the chest line of 8.5. The same thing I did for the front, so I'll repeat it. This is 8.5. Now, this is 8.5, so I'll rule the line like this. So... I need only this line for the back. Now remember the front. I use 4.5 plus half inch sewing allowance for the nipple to nipple measurement. But for this back, I will be using 5 inches plus half inch sewing allowance, making 5.5. I only added half inch to the nipple to nipple measurement. The front, it was 4.5 plus half inch sewing allowance, making 5. But for this back, I'm going to be adding half to it, making 5.5. So this is the 5.5 this way. You mark it, you repeat it on your on your chest line, then you roll it down. After rolling down this way, you're going to go down here by one inch. 
I'm going to be using half half inch on each dart leg here for the dart. So you connect it to this one inch here. Then you do the same thing for the other side. Okay, guys, now this is our back dart. So let's repeat our shoulder on the chest line. I use eight inches. I'm going to be using the same eight inches here. So you're going to rule the line this way. Now connect it to your, from the neck width here, connect it to your shoulder slope of one inch. So whatever you have left there, you divide it by two, 7.5, and you get, get it. Now on this part here, you'll be using your across chest back. The across chest back for this tutorial is 7.5. That's 15 inches. So you divide by two, we have 7.5. So you indicate it here. Then on your chest line, I'm still going to put in my round bust measurements. Yes. Then the rest will be the sewing allowance. So let's connect it together now. Connect with the half inch first. Then from the half inch, you connect it to, to the round bust measurement this way. Okay. Now on our waist, the waist for this tutorial is 36. 36 divided by 4, we have 9 inches. So you mark the 9 inches. Then you replace this 1 inch sewing allowance. You replace it back. And you are going to connect your... Okay, so I'll just add sewing allowance. Okay, so guys, um, then the next thing is to come up here and add our shoulder allowance of half, half inch. Now, because we use yoke for the front, I'm still going to be using yoke for the back. Now, you take your front back, you take it for you to know what you went up here for. So you measure from here, from here to here, I have 2.5. From the chest line to this part, part here, I have 2.5. So also still come up there together, yeah. So let's do this. From the chest line here, you also come up here by 2.5. For this back, the deepness, let me, let's just use the chest line for the back deep depth. So you're going to mark it this way. You connect it to the 2.5 like this. You connect it this way can you see because we are drafting the back yoke now now guys um the reason why i said you add half inch to your that here to make it 5.5 is because i want to do what we call tightening i want to tighten the the waist the back uh, waist because our back that place is always small so to avoid any zip bulging to avoid any bulge, you know, you know, at the back, you need to tighten it. So from this point, yeah, I'm going to be using 0 0.75 here. So from the, from this, your one inch zip allowance, you are going in. You are going to go in by 0 0.75. So you now connect this 0 0.75 to this upper part here. So watch how I connect. So you are connecting it to your one inch zip allowance the starting line here of your one inch zip allowance this way can you see it so we are going to cut off this part we'll be cutting off this part now don't worry about um if you are going to sew maybe it's going to be shorter than the front it's going to be smaller than the front on our sewing tutorial i'm going to show you how you will sew your front, and you will sew your, your pattern together, and it will give you a proper fit because our front is always wider than the back. So I'll be showing you the measurements of how to take the measurements for your sewing allowance. So let's cut off that. So you cut like this from that zip allowance. You're going to cut it off this way to the 0 0.75 because now we are going to tighten this back, the, the zip part. Can you see what I cut off? So on this upper part here you know this is your one 1.5 inch that i'm using for the neck depth now this is it here let's cut the paper now so from this zip allowance here like this you start trimming like this 
to the shoulder allowance so you cut off the allowance this way the way you see me cutting like this okay guys so so you're cutting this way So after cutting like this now, this is the back, this is the back yoke. Do you get this is the back yoke? Now let's let's now put our zip allowance proper now. So from this yoke here, we are going to be using one, one inch from here. One inch like this, one inch like this, one inch like this, one inch, one inch. Like I said, don't worry if you think everything is good like maybe the back will be will become too smaller don't worry about that you need to watch the sewing tutorial of this video for you to know how to get your front and your back sewing allowance to get the proper sewing allowance so guys this one is the zip allowance now zipper zipper allowance so this is now let's now cut the back yoke off it so i'm going to be cutting the back yoke okay so mates i have off this back yoke now this is the back and this is the front this is the front pattern and this is the back pattern guys after cutting the the half cut because i told you we'll be making a peplum now i'm going to be using this paper for the peplum it's being folded into two now let me show you how to how to fold your peplum without you wasting your fabric you are going to get the length of your waist measurement let's say 36 inches so that whatever peplum size you're cutting off you can cut it and you can still have just little allowance left if you want to add allowance to your peplum now so this pattern paper now is a length of 36 inches now the width also is a width of 36 inches i have 18 inches here unfold unfold is 18 inches when i open it up it's also 36 inches now you're going to be folding it again into two now from this length now you fold it again into two so you, i am folding it into two also if you are using a, a waist of 30 inches Cut the length of 30 and the width of 30. So this is it here. After folding it into two, I have something like this. So anyhow you fold it, make sure the folded part, the center front, let it be, let it face you. Then this part whereby you fold into two, let it stay at this upper part here. This peplum is a three, 360 degree peplum. We have different types of peplum. So what's the measurement for calculating 360 degree peplum? Is your waist divided by 6.28. Your waist, let's say waist of 36 inches, divided by 6.28. So that is how to get your waist circumference. So let's divide it. Now we are using 36. Now guys, the 36 inches, I'm going to be adding 1 inch to it for, for zip allowance. 37 divided by 6.28 equals to 5.8 so i'm using 5.8 for this measurement now so you're going to place your tape this way and you get your 5.8 on this part here you also come to this part the width the width and the length you put your tape here and you also get your 5.89 you put your tape just go round and get your 5.89. So that is how to get your waist circumference. Now, after doing that, connect the lines together like this. I am using a length of 9 inches. So I'm going to be making it 10 inches because I'll use half inch to join it to the waist measurement. I'll also use half inch for the down part to turn the line in. So we are using 10 inches. So you're going to place it this way and you start marking 10 inches round
we'll be cutting this off now. So the first thing you cut, don't cut this upper part first. Always cut the down part of your peplum before the upper part. Okay. So after cutting this now, you can now cut this one. So let's cross check if we actually have our waist measurement. If it's correct. Okay, here I have 9.5. 9.5 times 4. 9.5 times 4 equals to 38. It is still fine. The remaining one will be for will be for zip allowance. Now, if you feel the 38 is too much, what you can just do is just to go up here. You know, because it's a cycle, that is why it is wider. Just go up here a little by maybe 0 0.25 this way, and you can cut and you cut. But I'm going to be cutting it on the actual on this actual line. Our peplum is ready. So this is this is the peplum. So what you just do is to just open one side. Just open one side up. Because that side you open will now become your zip allowance. You have to. So I'm just going to slit here open. So your peplum will now be will now be like this. So this is how to cut a 360 degree peplum. Subsequently, on other tutorials, maybe one of these days, I can do a tutorial for 720 for 180. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Like this video, share the video, and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Now, the next thing is for me to cut it on the actual fabric and the lining. So, guys, um, this is where I will stop for today. Our next video will be on how to sew them, how to join all these pieces together. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.